Hello and welcome, I'm Frob and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a DIY miniature greenhouse. I had so much fun with this project, um, it's really really helpful and beneficial if you're wanting to start a propagation area um, or just need some higher humidity for your smaller plants. So this project was inspired by two different plant creators, um, Other Places You'll Grow and Jalen's channel actually posted videos previously that I will link in the caption. So for this greenhouse we use the Akbar Terrarium from Ikea. Shout out to Willie Chong for this design. There was a smaller version, you can actually get a larger version online as well. For other materials, I used this plastic fridge box, thermometer, hygrometer, silicone seal weather strip, foam weather strip, both of which are self adhesive. I also used this full spectrum grow light, which is 3000 lumen. Uh, it's two separate bars and comes with quite a few different kind of like adhesion methods. Um, I just used the self adhesive strips though, because if it dies, then I can just swap it out. Uh, it also has a self timer, which is really handy, but it doesn't have a cycle system, so you do have to set the timer each day, which is easy. So there is a link to uh, Jan Lin's Amazon kind of like portfolio for the materials used in this. Not all of the materials that she used, I used, so I will also add what I use separately underneath. For all the essentials of this project, it was £45 and it was £69.58 total for all of the extra bits. Um, obviously, if you're just wanting it for saplings and light, then you don't really need a hygrometer thermometer, but I do want to kind of track that. As well as the plastic fridge box um, isn't 100% necessary, but I did fancy it because I want to add some water and pebbles in there to just increase that humidity, hopefully up to around 85. Um, but again, not 100% necessary. As with most IKEA products, uh, the setup was really, really simple for this. I actually found that the most difficult part was peeling the plastic off of the glass. Um, I made an absolute meal of it, and I definitely recommend kind of like taking the acetate or the glass out of the hinges before doing this. Uh, like I said, the building process was really straightforward. Um, the whole thing actually only took me around 10 minutes to make. After I finished building it, I went straight into the weather sealing. Doing this just makes it so um, the terrarium itself can hold more humidity, which is exactly what we want when we're propagating or keeping tropical plants. So I used the self-adhesive foam weather sealant as well as the plastic. The areas that I focused on for the weather sealing was around the base as well as along the top hinge and near the sides of the lid. I've never weather stripped in my entire life and it turned out pretty good, so it's a really, really easy thing to pick up. Um, I literally just measured out the foam and I actually ended up cutting it in half and then stuck it on with a self-adhesion. When I started the weather sealing for the back part of the terrarium, I actually ended up cutting a small gap out of the foam just so that I could ensure that I had a little space for my grow lights to lead to go through. Once I completed all of the hinges and the base, I actually used the plastic weather sealing for the lid. Um, I just found that this was a little bit easier because with the foam sealing it still left gaps and the hinges kind of got in the way, so with the plastic it kind of creates a fold and is more likely to keep in higher humidity. I feel like adding the lights was my favourite part because it was probably feeling like a mini greenhouse at this point. Um, again, like I said earlier, just use the self-adhesion so that if they die, I can just swap them out. Um, really, really straightforward. But I have seen people using um, acetate drills to make holes and hooks for lights, but that's a whole other can of worms. After adding the lights, I was all done, so I just went ahead and grabbed my little hygrometer uh, and chucked that in there. I had this really, really sad looking Calathea medallion that I was trying to rehab in there. Um, chucked a couple other plants in there to raise the humidity as I am wanting to make this a alocasia terrarium. Um, so higher humidity is the best for this situation. When I first put the hygrometer in, uh, the humidity levels were around 62%, which is my general room kind of temperature. It is quite dry in here. 
um, but it really, really quickly boosted up to 67, then 71%. It is actually currently now sat at 80. The great thing about this terrarium is it's really easy to add or take away weather stripping as needed. So if the humidity gets a little bit too high, you can just monitor it, take off some bits or add as needed. I do definitely recommend it for if you're in a smaller space because I know I wish I had a bigger greenhouse but I definitely don't have the room for it right now. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you have any questions about this process then don't be afraid to let me know. Um, again, it was really fun and easy so hope you give it a go.